Okay, so we're going to talk about how to use, when we first get our Opal Kelly XEM board and the breakout board, we've put them together, we've set the jumpers so that the uh, board voltage will go out to the XEM board, the XE, or the, the breakout board, the breakout board's got a regulator on it, it will feed it back to the XEM board and that will make it a, a USB host powered device as opposed to a self powered device. Uh, quick warning, anytime you're doing uh, USB powered devices the maximum current you can draw is 500 milliamps according to the spec. Some things will do more than that but some things won't even do that much. This board doesn't draw that much as it is but it's not impossible to put a design on the FPGA and whatnot that will draw more power than that and violate your design rules and then maybe make things not work so be warned so first thing we're going to do I've installed everything we're going to run front panel and so front panel comes up and tells me that there are no connected devices um, and that's true so I'll come over here I'm going to plug in my USB port, and this is the mini, not the micro that we see everywhere today. Plug it in, green LED comes on, that means the board's alive. Front panel's just come up and said, I have an XEM3005 board, serial number, firmware version, tells me I'm doing USB 2.0, uh, and these two new icons appeared. The one on the right click it, lets me set the reference clocks. There's a 48 megahertz reference that I can change. This gives me a VCO frequency of 400 megahertz. Uh, there's different dividers. Uh, so I'm feeding a 50 megahertz clock in on clock one, and I'm feeding a 100 megahertz clock in on clock two of the board. And those are both enabled, so they're both going. And I can support six different and uh, at some point I can actually do an EEPROM write and write the board so that when it powers up it will come up with the bit code already in it. So speaking of bit code, this middle button, if I click it, it brings up a, a file select dialog and we're going to use first.bit which is the bit file, uh, the very first one you try when you get this. So I'll just double click it and it tells me FPGA configuration complete, 51 milliseconds. So it just fired that bit code down the USB cable and then their, their microcontroller and whatnot that's under here bit banged it onto the FPGA. So now this is set up to do that. The last part of front panel is this one here. Click this icon and it's going to let me choose uh, first XFP is the one I want and that brings up a GUI. Now the XFP codes it's all XML, it's pretty well defined it says this is what this does. So first of all I will push this mom button and we will see here that the far left LED lights up. So I have a hardware connection through software to this LED. We'll see that if I go one, two, not three, four, down here on the board. One, two, not three, four. So these, in this particular case, these four connections, here's the inverse, connect up to the LEDs on my board. So it's a pretty simple little thing going on. The last thing that's going on are these. So this is one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and the sum is five, 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 five. This is not being done by front panel. This addition is being done by the FPGA. So these numbers here are being fed back to the fed to the FPGA and it's doing a sum of the two numbers and it's sending it back to us. So we can click on one of these and change it to a 5 and we see that it immediately updates. You can also just hover over it with your mouse and run the scroll button and notice that over here on the right we're actually counting in all of them. Uh, we're doing this in hex. And notice also um, if we uh, change this all to F, 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 
and we'll leave it at E for now because that's nice. Um, FFFE plus 1 is FFFF and plus 2 is 0 so I'm rolling over. So the code that's in the FPGA doesn't do any sort of rollover detection it's just a pure register sending things back. And that's basically all I've got to talk about this. Just quick how-to video. And sorry it's taken so long. Bye.